Now, once you've created the body of your essay and you've brought in all of your supporting evidence to prove your point, you need to end the essay in a way that's going to be satisfying to the reader. And so that is your conclusion. When we look at the conclusion, one of the things we're looking for is some sort of a satisfying wrap-up of the essay. Um, which typically means summing up the points that you've gone through in the body of your essay. Uh, and this, once again, is a lot like what the lawyer does in the courtroom. At the end of the trial, um, before the jury goes out to deliberate on the issue, the lawyer will say, uh, stand up and summarize all of the evidence uh, that has been presented to the jury. The idea is make it fresh in the jury's mind before they go out to make their conclusion. So you'll have usually some kind of a recap of what's in the essay. Another typical thing that you're going to do in your conclusion is in some way you're going to restate your thesis. And this is key with development. Uh, that goes along with what I said earlier when I was looking at introductions. At the end of the essay, you have presented the reader with a whole lot of evidence. And so now the reader knows a lot more than he or she knew at the beginning of the essay. So you can't just simply restate the same thing you said at the beginning, uh, just change the words around a little. Um, you want to develop that thesis. Uh, sometimes you might have started with something vague. For example, if I'm writing about pickup trucks, I may have started the essay with something like, pickup trucks are an important type of transportation. Uh, but by the end of the essay, I've showed the reader a whole lot more evidence. And so at the end of the essay, I can say, pickup trucks are not just for cowboys anymore. And so we've got that um, more meaningful, more developed. So remember, if your body of your essay has been effective, you can't just get away with just saying the same thing again. And so again, if your introduction, if you started with a question, your conclusion is now where you have the answer to that question. Or if you had a controversial issue where at the beginning you kind of slid sideways into the, into the issue, by the time you get to the end, you've got a solid position and you've given the reader enough evidence to make the reader agree with you on that conclusion. Um, typically, uh, another thing you're typically going to do in the conclusion, you want to do something to give the reader a sense of satisfaction. Some kind of satisfying ending. And so what you'll typically do, the final note of your conclusion, um, you want to have something meaningful. It's what I call a takeaway. Which is basically something that leaves the reader thinking. Satisfied, but thinking. And there are a lot of things you can do for a takeaway. Uh, for example, maybe you finish with a quote from a famous person that kind of sums up what you've done. Um, maybe uh, you finish with a provocative question. Uh, something that uh, you don't want to leave it so open-ended that the reader feels unsatisfied. But you may have a, a final question that kind of leaves the reader thinking about what you're talking about. Um, or another kind of takeaway would be a call to action, which is to say um, you're asking the reader to do something. For example, if we don't like the way our government is being run, we need to get out and vote and have a say in things. That's a call to action. You're asking the reader to go and do something uh, in response to what you've proved in your essay. So that's what you do with your essay. You begin with a beginning that gets the reader interested. You then go through a body of evidence 
to prove whatever point you're making. Then you give a conclusion that makes the reader satisfied. You want that reader to feel glad to have read your essay. And no, I don't mean glad that it's over, but glad that you have imparted knowledge to the reader. So work on this structure. And as I said before, this works on things other than essays. It works on business letters. It works on uh, letters to your friend. It works on blog posts, if you've got a blog, things like that. Uh, but use this structure, and you'll keep your reader interested and edified.